everyone to the program. Our salon interpreter is David Agondoa. We start where we should. And members of the National Assembly fiercely engaged each other during the debate on the report of the Finance Committee in relation to the Finance Bill 2024. Those supporting the bill maintained that the committee had amended the contentious provisions singled out by Kenyans and that the bill will strengthen the manufacturing sector in the country. However, those opposed to the bill argued that it will impoverish Kenyans and stifle the economy. NTV's political affairs reporter, Vincent Odor, begins our coverage from here. The, value are the, tax the first day of the debate took a political turn. Legislators allied to the Kenya Kwanzaa administration supported the report of the Finance Committee on the Finance Bill 2024, pushing for it to be passed along with the proposed amendments. Kenyans raised their voices about contentious issues in the finance bill. And those issues were captured by the committee. What this report by the finance committee proposes is to increase the excise duty on motorcycles that are fully assembled from outside countries like China or other countries. The locally assembled motorcycles here will have a competitive price against those ones. Factories will have increased in our industries here, in the industrial area. And taxpayers or Kenyans who are not paying taxes are depending on us to ensure that we are able to create jobs, create more income earners who can pay taxes so that we share the burden of taxation more evenly and more fairly, Honorable Speaker. And that is part of the prime objective of this Finance Act of 2024. However, opposition members of parliament have maintained that they must shoot down not only the report, but also the Finance Bill 2024, so that the process can start afresh through a bipartisan route. What were they drinking? What were they smoking when they came up with those ideas? The moment you increase the road maintenance levy, by even a shilling, leave alone the nine shillings being proposed, the ripple effect is enormous in all sectors of the economy. And the loser is the common Kenyan taxpayer. The 2023 bill, which is already draconian enough, but is less draconian than this one, let us reject this bill. The 2023 bill will continue and let us have a bipartisan approach to budget making. This ongoing debate will continue until 9.30 p.m. and then resume tomorrow Thursday in the morning session. MPs will vote to support or reject the committee's report tomorrow in the afternoon. We must stand firm with the floor of this house and rise beyond the numbers. Issues of numbers does not arise when we are talking about finance bill. Members are required to submit their proposed amendments to the bill by Thursday at 1 p.m. Then on Tuesday next week, MPs will cast the final vote to approve or reject the 2024 financial bill. Vincent Odur, NTV.